Welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm really sorry this week's video is a little bit late. I did just want to take a minute to explain where I've been. The other night, I was sleeping, probably having some good dreams. And I woke up and I was really, really thirsty. So immediately, I shot out of bed and headed towards the kitchen. Well, all the lights were off and I don't know what gave me the confidence to just go for it. But I did, and this is what happened. From that point on, I couldn't walk. And when you can't walk, this is basically what your life looks like. Then I upgraded and got crutches, which for me, being very uncoordinated, was not an easy adjustment. I tried to push on and continue filming, but moving my filming equipment proved just too difficult. You could do this. And I know this is totally off topic, but I just wanted to share a little bit about what's going on in my life. Anyway, let's get to the matter at hand, and that is today's video, which is all about desktop organization. And I don't know about you, but when I see other people getting organized, it inspires me and motivates me to get organized. If you do like this video and you want to see more DIY organization videos from me, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get organizing. So we're gonna start with these really cute DIY clipboards that are not just functional, they also really liven up and personalize your workspace. So for this, you need your clipboards, craft paper, decoupage glue and a brush, a screwdriver, an X-Acto knife, and also some kind of an adhesive for your wall. I use this handy tack, which worked well. First, you're going to unscrew the head of your clipboards to make them easier to work with so you have this clean surface. You then just want to trace around your clipboard base and use that X-Acto knife to cut out your tracing. You could of course use regular scissors, but I personally find X-Acto knives a lot more fun. So once you have your cutout, then you grab your decoupage glue and you put a thin layer of that glue all over the clipboard. Then you place your craft paper on top and add another layer of your decoupage glue. Make sure you get all of the corners and all of the edges down securely. You let that dry just for a few hours, then you reattach your clipboard head and you're good to go. And these are just so cute. I attached this with this tacky putty substance and it worked well. You can see here, it just totally gives some personality to a boring workspace and they're also very functional as well. You could put up your to-do list, your homework, you could have one clipboard per subject in school, whatever your little heart desires. I personally am just putting up coupons and some cute pictures and memos on mine. Now for this ridiculously easy cell phone holder. I just absolutely love this and all you need to make it is an old cassette tape case, your craft paper, and an X-Acto knife. So in your cassette tape case, there is a paper backing that you can use as your guideline and you just wanna take your craft paper of choice, put your template on top of it, trace it out, and then use that X-Acto knife and cut out your template. From there, you just use that template again to mimic the same folds that are in the cassette tape. And if you wanna get real fancy, you can take another craft paper and just use that cassette tape as a guide 
to have a different color for that front strip just to add a little more flair and decoration to your cell phone holder. And I just think this is so incredibly cute and it's very functional. You can have your cell phone right there. You can control your music. You could check your text messages. Everything is just right in front of you. Next, we're going to make this really fun metallic desk organizer. This is inspired by one I saw at Anthropology, which was $48. So this is a less expensive way to make something just as cute. So for this, you need your spray paint. I chose silver, but you can also go with copper or gold or whatever color you want. A small piece of wood that will serve as your base, some different sized glass containers, and glue. First, you want to start by spray painting the crap out of all of your glass containers and that wooden base. It will take about three coats and just try to get those coats on as evenly as possible. I learned that the hard way. So once you have your dried, painted items, you just want to arrange the glass containers on your wooden board to get them looking the way that you want them. Then you're going to bust out your glue and then just glue each piece onto the board. It is incredibly easy and self-explanatory. And this is what you're left with. I think it's just so pretty and adds a little pizzazz to the dust area. Now for the fun part, which is filling up the containers. And we're all done with this one. How easy was that? That's my style of DIYs in case you haven't noticed. So for the next one, it is also incredibly easy, really cute and functional. And this is a DIY charging station. Nobody likes ugly cords everywhere. So this is just a really easy, convenient solution. And for this, all you will need is a decorated box. You could buy it pre-decorated or decorate it on your own, an X-Acto knife and grommets. You can also find these very easily at your craft store. An extension cord base goes in the box. So you just wanna line that up and make your markings of where you want to make a cutout for the cord of this extension cord base. And there you go, it fits in there nice and snug. Then you want to arrange your grommets on the side of the box, depending on where you want them to sit, and then mark the center of each one. Then take your tracing guideline, they should come in the packet with the grommets, and make your tracings where the grommets are going to be cut out. From there, it's time to get cutting with our X-Acto knife again. And once we have all of our holes cut out, you just want to align and pop those grommets on. It's very easy to connect them and you're all done. Then you just put in whatever items you want to have in your charging stations, plug it in on the inside of the box and then run that cord through the hole and you're good to go. So I have my cell phone, Kindle, laptop and lamp plugged in here and it is just so much prettier than having a bunch of cords everywhere. Some of my other desktop essentials is this adorable tape dispenser that looks like a stiletto. My personalized stationery, I got this from Etsy. This is my weekly menu planner, also from Etsy. And my Bluetooth speaker, which is just adorable. And my tumbler from Starbucks, which of course uses my color scheme, which is aqua, because I'm obsessed with aqua. So this is it for all of my DIYs for today. If you do want to see more videos like this, I'm happy to do them. Just let me know by liking this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. I also have sunglasses with me because let's be real, nobody looks cute in the morning when you wake up after a red-eye flight. Unless you're Beyonce, you're going to be looking, how do I describe this? Like a discombobulated newborn kitten. So anyway, I don't even try to fix the situation. I just cover it up.